Hello guys, welcome back to the Oxford United save on the Football Network. Today we're continuing on and we're playing a Champions League game against Paris Saint-Germain. Now, uh, we've already qualified from the group, as you can see. Um, I'll show you some of the results, but we're level on points with Paris Saint-Germain. And a win here will really kind of give us a good opportunity to finish top of the group, which means, well, on paper, it should be an easier draw. But you never know. I haven't checked the other groups yet to see who we could potentially get. But... Um, yeah, finishing top of the group will help a lot. But, um, of course, there are some things to report on since last time. There's a transfer that I forgot to mention as well. But, uh, obviously, since that 2-1 victory against Moscow, we've been on some pretty good form. But there's one result which is standing out to you right now, and you're probably looking at it, uh, which is our most recent result. But I'll explain, and I have an excuse to uh, really say anyway. But uh, we beat Chelsea 3-1. Juan Gill and Brendan Galloway getting a brace in that game. A rare... Uh, goal ready for Galloway, but he got two in that game. Played really well, and uh, hopefully it's something that he adds to his game. Yanazai getting a stoppage time goal as well. Uh, talking of stoppage time goals, we beat Liverpool 1-0. Salinas uh, has been actually in some fantastic form now. He's really finding his feet, and he's playing some really good football. Uh, but he scored there, 1-0 victory against Liverpool from the penalty spot. Uh, Kimmich actually missed one about 10 minutes earlier, but uh, Salinas made no mistake that time. Then we beat 4-0, um, then we beat Salzburg 4-0, sorry. Uh, Salinas again scoring, Juan Gil with 2 and Odegaard with 1 in that game. Really good win there at home. And then we beat Tottenham 3-1. Um, Odegaard scoring Tar and Thomas Herrera on the score sheet there. Actually, Thomas Herrera is out with an injury uh, at the moment. A strained knee ligament uh, injury. Out for 11 days to 3 weeks. Um, excuse me. Yeah, he uh, picked up an injury in a game. Um, let's just take a look actually at his injuries there. So yeah, strain knee ligaments, three weeks uh, out currently. But um, yeah, a bit of a bit of a iffy injury, but uh, he should be able to come back okay. Uh, Spurs actually, interestingly enough, Donis Avedaj hasn't been playing too much. He did start the last game, but you can see here, he's only made four league appearances, not scoring a goal. Um, so not a bad bit of business getting rid of him at the moment. So Okay, in, on that front. Uh, then we beat uh, Derby 2-1, sorry. Odegaard and Salinas once again scoring. Um, and then a 3-2 victory where Salinas actually bagged a first-half hat-trick. Really good performance. Although, uh, defensively, a little bit shaky in that game. And a little bit nervy towards the end. And then a 4-2 victory against Norwich. Gill with a hat-trick this time. Salinas scoring as well. Uh, Cancelling out Kane Turner and Guido Carrillo's uh, goals there. But then... A devastating 4-1 defeat against our big, big rivals, Reading, um, who are actually third in the league this year. We're a few points ahead of them, but Dembele, Musa Dembele getting a hat-trick. Not sure what's around his nose there, but um, make of that what you will. But yeah, he got a hat-trick in this game, but you can see here, Jairo Reidewald getting sent off within five minutes. An absolutely absurd decision. Really early on to send him off. Mike Dean is the referee. I do not rate him in real life either. Um, I think he's a mug, but, well, it really did reinforce it here. I mean, FM is very realistic. Bad refereeing decisions from Mike D. But um, he got sent off five minutes in. Uh, for a big game like this, it's ridiculous to get sent off that early, and it really ruined the match. We're going to take a look at it, actually, here in 2D. Um, so let's get to that point in the game. Here it is. So the highlight's about to begin here. Um, and just keep an eye on Rydeval here. And I'm going to pause it. When we get through to the point. So here we go. Foul there on Dembele. That's what's been sent off for. Um, it Literally in 3D match engine. It was a little trip from behind. A professional foul it was given for. But let's just put it into perspective here. Mike Dean has got a good view of it. Yes, that's true. Um, five minutes in. Dembele is about 30 yards out from goal. So that's not a goal scoring opportunity really, is it? Um, at that point. It's not clear cut anyway. You've got a covering defender in Jonathan Tartan. You've got a covering defender in Angelino. I mean, that that is enough. That, and, uh, Jonathan Tartan is no mug either. He's very, very fast. Uh, probably got the same pace stat, really, as Dembele. He would have been able to, co to have covered there. It's a yellow card at that point, really, isn't it? That early in the game, you've got Kimmich around him as well. So it's not like it's... I mean, if, if Tar was like where Asore is and if Angelino was where Green is, then, yeah, fair enough. You could say, all right, that's... That's a, a red card. But put it into perspective, so early on, the stats for the game as well, really, really even. But just with a less a, a lesser man in defence, one less person, it affected us, obviously. So, 
Um, really disappointed with that one, but we're going to come back for that game, really, against Reading at some point, and we are going to spank them. We really must come back with some serious revenge against our big rivals, who are actually third in the league. Take a look at the table here. Uh, we were actually top, and we would have we stayed top, but Man City have overtaken us a point ahead, and you can see Reading there on 24 points as well. But, yeah, a bit disappointed with that one, but um, today, we, of course, we play PSG, and uh, let's take a look at that transfer that I was telling you guys about. So, the guy that's coming in is Cesar Orelov, uh from uh, from wherever that is. The initial fee is, uh, where are we looking at? Eight and a half million pounds that can potentially rise to 10.75 million. And uh, he's a centre-back from Universidad de Chile. I don't know if we bought anyone from these guys before. We might have done some of our South American players. But yeah, we have quite a lot of South American players in the squad. This guy stands out a mile. Um, I've got scouts set up in South America. That's why we've got so many. Uh, and we just look at all these youth players that come through their systems. This guy stands out by a country mile. Similar to Herrera, actually. Not very big uh, in height-wise, but some really nice stats at this age. Look at these stats for defending. Very, very nice. Good mentals as well. And uh, he's going to be coming in next summer. So, um, well, at the end of the season anyway. So I'm very, very much looking forward to him coming into the team uh, when he does arrive. But we've got PSG today. This is the team we're going to be going for uh, to face them. Ortola, Osorio, Herrera back in the team. Uh, he is actually listed. I want £25 million for him. Real Madrid are interested um, because his form, as you can see here, hasn't been great overall. So, um, yeah, we're going to look to try and move him on probably because I don't think he's going to really come back the same as he was previously to that, to that big injury he had. Rodevald's coming in, obviously... At that um, suspension for the league, I've decided to appeal against that. Hopefully it gets accepted. And I have been warned, actually, by the FA for my comments about Mike Dean. But Angelino at left-back, Kimmich, Grealish, and Izawa, Odegaard, Salinas, and Gill. The bench is Daniels, Lenahan, Galloway, Lundstram, Julian Green, Evan Hicks, and James Wilson. So, hopefully these boys can do a job against PSG today. Obviously, finishing top of the group will be important. Um, and a victory here will really kind of help us out in that respect here. But um, let's go out there and impress everyone, boys. Give the little team talk. Hopefully it all goes well and the players can go out there and deliver tonight. But PSG are a very, very strong side. They have run, won the Champions League a couple times, I think, in this save. Um, and they certainly have a very, very strong squad. Um, some of the old guard are still there, like Cavani and, and things like that. But they're coming forward straight away. Coutinho... Wow, it's a clear-cut chance of in a few seconds of, of kick-off there. And uh, they very nearly scored from that. And they're coming forward once again here. Edinson Cavani, Coutinho now out to Mario Fernandes. And this will be a real test of our mental strength coming back from uh, a very disappointing defeat against our rivals. And Kwaisson scores. And that is not what we wanted at all there within the first couple of minutes of the game. PSG peg us back. Hopefully this doesn't start a spell of a decline for us here because I'm well aware of what the confidence can do and that result, that defeat against Reading. Ortola, what are you doing? Got to be making at least an attempt there. But yeah, I'm well aware of what they, what it can do, um, that, that defeat against uh, Reading. And, you know, I'm not so sure how, how well it's going to affect our team. A result here, if it's positive, will be important to get us back on track in all competitions. After you know, we've been on some pretty good form up until that game, but one refereeing decision can just change it just like that. And that is what ha that is what has happened really, as um, we managed to defend it there. Gill with the ball now, coming forward with it. Well, I say coming forward, he's gone back and he's given the ball away to Coutinho. Miles now with it into Quaison, who's already scored. Pastore into Coutinho now, and a second goal here will really kill us. Digne now on this left-hand side. Back inside to Coutinho. Digne again. And uh, he's looking forward. He's going inside the box. And Ortola manages to save that time. Going to go to attacking. See if we can get some more options in the final third. But um, at the moment, PSG are all over us. And we need to try something different to try and get a goal back before half-time. And we will find ourselves in a difficult position in this match. But... Um, yeah, not, uh, nobody really standing out on our team at all. It's been a pretty poor first half, and I'm going to let the boys know that at half-time because they have not go out, gone out here and done a good job here in this first half. And uh, it does look like we're going to go in 
the 1-0 down here against Paris Saint-Germain away from home. I'm going to tell the boys, show me something else in the second half. They all look fired up, which is what I want to see. I want to see them get out there and um, try and, you know, show a bit of bite in their performance. Let's just show the PSG that we're not going to roll over on our backs. And um, Gil is not having a good game at all. 6.2 rating there for him. And I may bring on the goal machine that is James Wilson, which I think I am going to do, actually. I'm going to swap Salinas around and I'm going to bring him on there. Kimmich is on a yellow. I'm going to take him off as well, even though he's been okay today. I'm going to take him off nevertheless. Odegaard as well is struggling for condition. But uh, this has been bitterly, bitterly disappointing from the boys here today. And I think I am going to take Odegaard off. He is not having a good game. Bring Hicksy on. Of course, a product of our own youth academy. Out on loan last season at Luton. And uh, we have a free kick here with Grealish. Delivered the ball in. It's headed away. Back out to Izawa here. He's cutting inside. It's a good run for Izawa, and it's a great goal from Hiroshi Izawa. Third goal of the season. And on that uh, right hand side, actually. A bit unfamiliar to him, but cutting in on that left foot of his. Scoring a really nice goal there. Look at that. Great dribbling, passing all the players, and uh, a really convincing finish into the bottom left corner. The goalkeeper left with no chance there. And uh, we're back in this game. Three shots, three on target. And uh, we have another set piece here. Wilson is on the end of that, maybe. No, it's away from Verratti. Grealish delivers again. Cavani now coming away with it. Quaison now possibly a chance to counter-attack. We're on Paris Saint-Germain. Kondogbia now. And uh, he's got a bit of a lucky break there. Coutinho is through. Ortola saves well. And, uh, well, that's okay. A draw here probably wouldn't be too bad away from home. It keeps us in the mix for that uh, top spot going into the final game. But... Um, Verratti will take this other corner. It's delivered into the box. It's headed away from Evan Hicks. And Pastore now passes it to Coutinho. And uh, Cavani now on the ball for Paris Saint-Germain. Angelino steps in though well. And can we counter-attack him? No, he gives it away. And that is the end of the highlight there. But we're looking for something in these last few moments. We're looking for a winning goal maybe for ourselves. Although, oh, oh Grealish is with the free kick here. Hicks is there. Oh, and it's just over him. Larea, the goalkeeper, making the save there, but Quaison flicks it on. Osorio now can just calm down, find a pass. He plays Rydervald, who just squeezes it through to his hour. He tries to play it down the line to Salinas, but Marquinhos can get there. And um, Verratti will play out to Pastore. Inside to Philippe Coutinho now, on the ball for Paris Saint-Germain. Quaison with it, and he has a shot, and it goes wide of the mark. But um, we're looking for that goal as PSG have another shot on on, tar uh, on goal, sorry, not on target. But uh, they've really dominated this game, it's fair to say. And a result here, if we do score, then we kind of FM them, I guess, into a win uh, for ourselves. But a few minutes to go, they have a corner. Verratti delivers, Marquinhos is there. Coutinho now with the ball on the edge of the area. Finds Pastore, Angelino cuts inside. Can dog be a Quaison? Can we defend? Yes, we can. Just about get that away. And Angelino's on it now. And we lived on the edge very much there. As uh, PSG come forward once again. Verratti out to Jaurigi. I think that's how you say it. Kondogbia. Tola saves. I think that was probably going wide. But he made the save nevertheless. And it's away from Hicks this time. Marquinhos beating Grealish to the ball. And uh, can we win that? No we can't. Coutinho now. The highlight has not ended. Is there more to be in here? And Angelino... Nods it behind for a corner. Very near our own goal, actually. And uh, it's away from Evan Hicks. A six-foot tall advanced playmaker there. Getting it away. Kondogbia now into Coutinho. And uh, he gives an optimistic ball to Quaison, which he will not be able to get. And that should be the end of the highlight there. And uh, have we just held on to a 1-1 draw against Paris Saint-Germain away from home? Would be a very good result, as I said. And uh, it looks like that is going to be the case. Ten seconds to go here. Doesn't th I don't think anything else is going to happen unless they do a Luka Modric against us, which uh, happened last season. But uh, they are uh, coming forward. It's into Quaison. Ortola saves well there. And uh, one last corner here. Can we defend it? Get it away, boys. Rydeval does. Can Grealish hit it away? Yes. And well, that is the end of the game. 1-1 against Paris Saint-Germain. Not a disaster. I think we've done okay, actually. You're unlucky tonight, boys, I'm going to say. And uh, I'm not going to say that they were brilliant because they weren't. But there you go. That is the end. Uh, Salzburg did actually beat Moscow. So that does mean...
But yeah, they're, they're both on three points now, so um, I don't know why it, it doesn't mean anything because we, we won. But actually, we have the Club World Championship, so I don't know when that is actually. Um, there we go, Club World Championship semi-final. Hmm, I might come back for that one actually. That could be quite an interesting little pro uh, little thing. If actually, if we get to the final, then um, I'll record the final of the Club World Championships. I won't do the semi-final because I think it will be a little bit too soon. But if we come back for that for that game, that would be pretty good then. If not, then I might just come back for one of these Premier League games. Not too sure which one, but nevertheless, thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed it, then please leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And of course, get your comments in. Do you think that was a red card? I don't think it was, but uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.